You know what? Mario's been doing this so many times, he needs to get a life. Yes, I talked to you already. I know I need the helmet and all that, but I'm not interested. Actually, maybe I am interested, because once I actually collect the remaining blue coins, then all I need is to collect the red coins. It's kind of interesting how there's only like three levels where you need this helmet, and two of them are pretty much collecting red coins. Kind of an interesting coincidence, don't you think? Not sure what that opened. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna walk around and look at my list a couple of times and try to figure out where the blue coin is, which means I'm gonna be cutting out probably like 30 freaking minutes of this or something. Okay, so go to where the bird bird is. Jump down to the fur. Wait! This must be it! Oh my god, guys! Here is one of them. This is the one I was missing. So, um, so go the same way you went to get the gold bird, jump down the mountain and make it to the first platform that you see, spray the wall on the bottom left. Yes. From 16, there's another wall if you look up to your top left. Okay, what was number 16, though? But before I do that, I should actually... Okay, no, there's nothing more. Whoa, that was a cool point of view. Huh, neat. Huh. I'm trying to figure out which which area I've not been to. Well, let's see, I mean, I went that way. And, um, yeah, what ruins have I not been to that I still need to go to? I mean, there's something where it says I need, like, the rocket nozzle to actually get to a certain location. Wait! There it is! There it is! But I need the rocket nozzle in order to get to it. Oh my god, it's right there. Well, guys, um, I'm gonna have to do this, um... God, that actually took forever. Oh my god. I mean, there's a lot of cutaways, but during this entire session since I started actually doing the 100% for Nuki Bay, I'm like an hour and a 20 minutes into this recording. And that's actually without stopping. And of course, that doesn't include cutaways for you, so I don't know how many parts I'm going to divide this into. I mean, obviously I'm going to show you guys my pain of having to go through all this, but... Good God, this actually is taking forever. Oh my God, I took, the, I took the wrong episode. God, frick the ah! Oh God, fucking damn it! What the? F Here we go. Now the rocket nozzle appears. Why doesn't it appear in episode eight? I mean, it's stupid. There we go, so the blue coin is just up there, so let's see, get it! And fail. God damn it, am I supposed to like spray something in order to get it? Okay, clearly I need to stand somewhere in order to get it. Alright, so I guess I'll stand on top of the shell, hopefully I don't run out of water. Come on, come on, you can make it. Yes! Oh my god, I actually made it with the last bit of water left. Awesome! Awesome! Woo! I did it! Now let's go in poisonous water. Which we clearly already fixed up from before. So there you go, guys. We collected every single blue coin for Nuki Bay, and I gotta say... 
as much as the tricky ruins are kind of tricky, it is actually kind of fun to go through, but good god, it was really repetitive. So there we go, we got every single blue coin for Nuki Bay. So the only ones that we do need all blue coins for is whatever we need in Delfino Plaza in the Pianta Village. So we're going to be going to Hello, Nuki Bay again, because we still need to get Episode 8 done and over with. Alright, so let's -a go and do this. So I guess we're going to go up and meet Grandpa, because we got to do this in style. Nah, screw it. Let's just swim over to it. I mean, we already talked to him. I mean, here's the dialogue right here. Master Mario, our people have all come back at last. To show our thanks, we prepared a fine treasure for you. It lies on the ocean's floor. So please, go there and claim it. Just remember to watch your life meter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, all eight coins are within that fish. So yeah. We pretty much have all these nukies all around, swimming on top of jellyfish and whatever. So yeah, I guess they still live in their ancestral home, which I guess you can assume is some sort of Atlantis or something. And yeah, they even have like a gathering or something. I don't think you can talk to these guys. I mean, at least I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can talk to them, but yeah, you can just see them just sitting there, just enjoying themselves and whatever. Okay, now where is that fish? Okay, definitely higher up. <laughs> okay, there it is. So yeah, this fish is actually kind of tricky. So yeah, we had like a sand bird completely made out of sand. And now we have a fish that pretty much is combined with a bunch of coins and red coins. But the thing is, is that these coins spread around, and this makes it more complicated than it needs to be. But it's nothing that we need to worry about too much, because they do actually come together as one again. Oh god, this is, this is actually more complicated than I remember. But yeah, the task of this is actually pretty damn simple. You just need to get the red coins as you, um move along. And then as your as the coins are spread apart, then I guess you can actually just collect these coins while you're at the go. And yeah, since the more coins you collect, the more the fish starts to deform, and I guess it makes it more complicated to actually get every single blue coin, or, or every single red coin, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It was not complicated, so now we get to go to, um, where the eel was resting while we had to clean its teeth, so yeah, we get to end, we get to end this on eel manure. Awesome. So this is the ancestry home. We see the Nukies are enjoying their time, uh, drowning themselves, looking at Atlantis, enjoying their time, and we get to end our um, Nuki Bay with the eighth star right on top of um, eel poop. Awesome. Shine! I am standing right on top of eel shit.